When you get this much rain all at once, there's always those concerns of flooding and power outages and a whole lot more. Yeah, that's why a lot of folks are getting ready right now uh, all across the area. Fox 43's Alyssa Kratz is live in Springsbury Township, York County, with how they are preparing for more rain. Hey there, Amy and Danielle. Yeah, this is all coming as people are still dealing with the impacts of last night's storms, right? York County saw more than three inches of rain fall, and now with the remnants of Debbie headed our way, there could be some more problems. A rainy Wednesday, but it's the calm before the storm. After several inches of rain were dumped on York County Tuesday night, the area is now bracing for even more as the remnants of Debbie make their way up the East Coast. The ground is, is still busy absorbing that, and then we're going to put more water on top of that. So that uh, allows for the possibility of flooding. Ted Shack of the county's Office of Emergency Management spent Wednesday meeting with local emergency coordinators, fire rescue crews, and the Red Cross, making sure everyone is ready for the potential impacts. We, we want to let people know that this is what's going on. You know, that, that there are moves being made and there are, we're thinking of worst possible uh, scenarios and things like that. At J&W Hardware in Newberry Township, shelves are stocked with generators and sump pumps. We keep a whole bunch on hand because it's not like, it's like when one person needs them, everybody needs them. Homeowners are also reminded to keep generators outside when in use. Make sure you're using like a, a cord. Don't try and wire it up to your house yourself. You know, use like a properly made cord, stuff like that. A lot of times with the generators, you know, gas is a big issue, making sure you have fresh gas on hand too. And speaking of gas, it's also a good idea to make sure all of your vehicles are fueled up before this storm hits and also a reminder to make sure all those cell phones and other devices are charged in case of the event of a power outage. Reporting live in Springsbury Township, Alyssa Kratz, Fox 43 News.